to introduce Liz from England, who takes LDN. Thank you for joining me, Liz. Hello. Could you tell me for what condition you take LDN? I've got primary biliary cirrhosis and secondary Sjogren's. Okay. And when did you first start to notice something was wrong? Um, it was probably about 12 years ago, roughly. Mm-hmm. Um, and I started to get pains in my stomach and um, bowel problems. Okay. And what were you given at that time? Oh, lots of tests, lots of investigations, um, and nothing, they couldn't find anything wrong. And it was just, I was just told I'd got IBS and go away. I wasn't really given much at all. Right. Um, I took laxatives, and then I really took... Um, herbal remedies and things like that that I researched mm -hmm. um, and tried to find things that might help me. So what was your quality of life like at that time? Um, I was working but it did impact um, occasionally on me in that I would get very tired and become unwell, feel unwell and I would have to take time off work. Mm -hmm. um, but that was intermittent, so it was every few months maybe that it would really get bad. Um, and the rest of the time I managed it myself, really. Mm -hmm. And did, did you have a lot of pain with it? Not severe pain, but yes, chronic pain all the while. Um, mm. People have commented that I'm always rubbing my tummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, as you say, that was sort of 12 years ago. Yes. How did you hear about LDM? through research myself, just being on the internet, going on Facebook, on different pages, um, and just doing the research myself. And really that's how I got my diagnosis as well, by put researching and pushing the doctors to refer me to other doctors. So it's all been self, really. Mm -hmm. And how long ago was it that you heard about LDN? It was uh, quite a while ago now, a few months back possibly about a year or so, I suppose. Um, and I just kept trying to get my doctor to prescribe it and that I didn't get anywhere with that and eventually found a way of getting it myself. Okay, so you have a private prescription. Yes, that's right, yeah. So have you been back to your doctor since you started LDN? I did go to the consultant recently mm -hmm. and, and, and told him that I was taking it. Right. Um he just smiled at me and said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all really. But I haven't spoken to my GP because I've recently changed my GP. So that's something I'm going to approach um, and try to see if, if they'd be more understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you got your prescription for LDN mm -hmm. and you finally started, what dose did you start on? I started on one milligram a mm -hmm. day um, and gradually increased it. The only thing I, w I would say to people is that I found that sometimes I increased it too quickly and I had to keep popping back to a lower dose occasionally mm -hmm. um, until I found sort of the optimum dose. And what do you find the optimum dose for you is? About three and a half to four mils. Mm -hmm. And when you first started, did you notice any sim um, side effects? None at all. None at all. In fact, um, people talk about the sleep problems. It actually helped my sleep. I've never slept so well since mm -hmm. I've been on it. Well, that's good. If you get a good night's sleep, it makes you feel so much so, better. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. So how long did it take, do you think, when you first started for it to improve other than your sleep? A couple of days. Really? Because even my husband started to notice a difference. And um, even looking in the mirror, I'd noticed like, the bags under my eyes and things like that. And I was just feeling so much better immediately. Wow. What about your stomach? How, were you, are you still rubbing that? Not not as much. It's still there, but not as much. And I don't get as much pain with it. It's more discomfort than pain. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly my bowels have improved a little bit, but not, not a great amount. It's mainly the tiredness and this just feeling of um, being unwell and aches and pains that have gone. And also all the tingling in my hands and feet, that's gone. 
Wow, it's really worked well for you. It has. Um, and the first condition you said, uh, other than Sjogren's. Um, could yes. you explain what that condition is? I can't remember what you called it now. Right, it's primary biliary cirrhosis. Right. And it's an autoimmune disease that uh, attacks the liver and destroys the um, bile ducts in the liver. Right. Um, I've got all the um, sort of symptoms and I've got the auto uh, antibodies, but my liver has not shown any signs of damage as yet. Oh, that's good. Well, it's a bit, a bit of a mystery. Mm, let's hope it doesn't now. Hope the no. LDN can stabilise you and you stay as you are. That would be Hopefully. good. Hopefully. Mm. So what would you say to other people who are contemplating trying LDM? I would say to anybody to to give it a try because it can't do any harm. And if it, if it improves your life um, just a little bit, um, I understand how people, you know, have lived for many years with pain and, and it, 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 it completely destroys your life um, and this can improve it and I would suggest they give it a try mm -hmm. Well thank you very much for sharing your inspirational story with us Liz Thank you